if if we continue, I'm not saying this is the only cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a variety of causes, but it is a big contributing factor. How about if I said, if we continue up, with animal agriculture, up, we are going to create a planet that's unlivable. If we keep on um, burning down the Amazon rainforest, destroying our oceans, um, we are going to create an, an environment. That's all group. fine, but that's not the same as the proposition that eating meat is wrong. No, 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 I know. Not comply! Resist! Defy! No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I'm just, um, well, but yeah, yeah, you know, for me, there's a, a variety of reasons. Yeah. You know, the environmental reason is different to the ethics, and you know, the ethics is different to the health. They're reason. all linked. Stuff, they're, they're, they are all linked. But you know, I, I'll just touch upon. You know, I, I'm I live like a vegan lifestyle for ethical reasons. Yeah. I, I don't like the idea of, of killing something. You know, and you referred to animals earlier as a hip. You know, didn't you when you said? Yeah. Acknowledging they are a sentient being with their own subjective view yeah, of reality, yeah. they can feel pain and experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and I, the process of slaughter for us is we recognise that in the process. Yeah, and we are thankful, yeah, for Allah for giving us yeah such things. But the, and the thing is, they, well, you know, and we, we, we It's not like we don't uh, disconnect no. ourselves from it. There's a relationship. Hey, there's like there's no chance. I do not think you are an evil person in the slightest. It's like, fine if you do. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you know, you are. Um, but you know, like it's just you know we have options don't we we have a variety of choices so if we can choose you know why choose to cause more harm when we can choose to cause less harm so that's like the sort of angle i would go at and if if, if eating plants causes less harm compared to eating animals i would say we should go for that option yeah and so my, my i guess my response to that just to sort of summarize would be yeah. that I, I don't think you can say that you have caused less harm because if life falling back very straight back to the beginning of the conversation that if life is suffering that allowing an animal to live is to allow it to suffer yeah and so essentially by not eating the animal technically you could be causing yeah, yeah. it to suffer even more and which then undermines the reason for taking that as an argument to then not eat meat I well, suppose the argument would be then um you know, not to bring. We've got the animals that are currently in existence. What, how, what we do with them? I don't know. I don't know what the best solution is. But a simple solution would just be not to create new ones, because when we create those new ones, we're creating a situation where we are putting them in a, you know, creating suffering when there was no, no need to create that suffering so in the first place. How can you stop the natural reproduction of... No, no, no. So, so would, it wouldn't be a case of stopping natural reproduction because that would occur, um, but it would be about, because at the moment we do a lot of artificial insemination, yeah. and so that increases the stock, but it's that's mainly tied to well, so capitalism like, you, and... Uh, there's this really up there, you know, you, you, see, you saw Cowspiracy, I'd recommend, I'm not, have you heard or seen this film called Milt? It's on YouTube, you can watch it How for free. Milk. A um, couple years, one or two years. Probably not then. No. Um, so it talks about the dairy industry in New Zealand and basically like, you know, um, Britain actually, like with colonialism, um, yeah, introduced so dairy into that and dairy is just decimating New Zealand. It's created all their natural waters are now undrinkable, they're unswimmable, they used to have like these glowing glorious lands and dairy is just skyrocketed. So I, I could even get behind understanding why there may be problems with the dairy industry mm. uh, because like the Prophet Muhammad he just used to have a goat or a cow and it just would just graze nearby and then they would go and they would milk it yeah uh, but it wasn't a case of where they would like make it pregnant so that it would produce milk and all of that other... and then the, the child stolen so they you know they take away the child from the cow there's videos you can see cows like crying out like in you know you can tell it's a distress sound because you know the pitch is the pitch of a you know cow's voice there's you know, a variety you know if you ever ha had a dog or a cat there's a variety you know some are happy sounds and some are sad sounds. You can just learn that by observation, and um, and you can tell when a when a cow's given birth. A lot of the time, they'll just remove them because they're not gonna, they don't want that calf taking the milk for us. And, and then you can they, you can hear the cow in distress. Um, if they're a boy calf in the dairy industry, they're killed very early because they have no profitability. And if the female, they're basically kept in cap, you know kept in their closed environment until they're an age uh, where they can be artificially inseminated. They go through this process for about seven years and then they're sent to the slaughterhouse for cheap meat. The lifespan for a cow is about 20, 25 years and they just have seven years of almost pure misery. Um, and for 
or what? A, you know, cheese on pizza, sandwich fillings. Um, so I, I can get that maybe they don't like the experience of their calf being removed. Mm. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily jump on this notion that they live constant suffering. Because even like human beings, like I, like I went through some crap when I was younger, and it caused me trauma, and yeah. I cried about it. Yeah. Um, but like I wouldn't say now yeah. that it's a big deal at all. Like I, I can get on a day-to-day -day basis just fine, and I don't see how a cow couldn't necessarily do that. Not to say that what the milking industry is um, moral. In but it. I mean, you know, if you're killed a fraction of your lifespan, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say it, would you? You know, say again? Yeah, you wouldn't want to be killed at a fraction of your lifespan. No, I wouldn't. No. But no. I don't see that as a necessary reason to infer onto cattle because I don't consider cattle in the same moral sphere as the human being. No, but you don't need to. All you need to know is, you know, recognise that, that they have the right to exist uh, free from exploitation and suffering as anyone else. So I can maybe say that from an Islamic perspective, um, uh, within the bounds of the law, obviously when it comes to sort of sourcing for food and that, um, it can be a different matter, but I don't see how you can say that as an atheist. Well, I don't know. I just did though. I know you just say it, but I, like, what's what's stopping me from just saying the opposite? What do you like, mean? So another atheist comes along and he just declares the complete opposite of your claim. Yeah. What do we do then? Yeah. We're in a I don't know. I, 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 you need to sort of give good reasons to explain what it is that justifies your particular moral proposition over his. Well, I'm saying, yeah, you know, I, mean, I, I feel like we're just repeating, or I'm repeating myself now anyway, but yeah, my position's coming from an empathetic one, yeah. and a, you know, trying to be compassionate one, um, I suppose that's where it's coming from. That's, I, don't, I don't need, personally, I suppose, I, I'm not saying you need it, or anyone else, but I don't need a religion to, for me to be able to determine what I believe but, but is there good some, from there bad, are some people right who do. wrong. Yeah, some people do. Because, and that, like, where I grew up, like your level of compassion just isn't present no. at all. No. Like, um, the, like I grew up in a council estate mm. in North Manchester, yes. and the majority of people have zero concern about any of these. Yeah, things yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, because they're yeah, they'd be dealt with bad hand. They're in an environment where it's like really rough. Like you know, like you've got to do certain like horrible things probably to survive. And that's, I hate that. I hate the fact that that exists. And I, I would love to try and create and move towards a world where people aren't struggling like that. They so this is the thing then, um, this is where the, the need for religion or some sort of overriding thing which guides people comes in. And so you're, you're suggesting that there should be something, but you're, you just don't want it to be religion. But then it tends, it's still going to be falling under that category of being some sort of I mean, a guidance know, for uh, mankind. You know, whatever, um, as long as it, you know, whatever um, position, belief, philosophical position that you have, doesn't cause harm to others, I'm cool with. Once your position, you have a belief where you feel you need to do this and it will cause harm to someone else, then I think it needs to be questioned. So if you've got the Nazis, they're invading Europe, and the only way to deal with them is to fight them yeah. and to cause harm, that would, by what you just said there, be an evil thing. Well, I, suppose, um, I think you're allowed to defend yourself. If someone's coming at you and it's going to kill you, okay. and you, you know... So say, uh, say my friend here yeah. goes to attack this brother here. He looks like he's going to. And he doesn't, and he defends himself, that's fine. Let's say he's incapable of defending himself. Yeah. Right? And he's not attacking me, mm. but then I attack him. Yeah. I'm being an aggressor here. But you're defending your friend. Well, I'm aggressively. I'm, he's not attacking me. I'm not defending myself, which is what you said. I'm saying, well, you're. So I can proactively attack on the basis that it could potentially save someone else. Or so then it's it's not about um, not being aggressive. Aggression can be justified as even but, proactive aggression. But how can you define who who has the authority to define the harm? When you say the harm, so what is the the basis of the definition that this is the harm and this not harm. For example, a police, when someone is shooting, randomly shooting, killing the people, then he will recognize as terrorist. And when police is coming and maybe uh, maybe exchanging the fire and this guy is gonna die, so it will not be, police will not be terrorists, right? So both is harming their life, but one is terrorist and another one is not. So who will define this harm you say? Who will define this? Yeah, yeah because it's another huge conversation because the lines end up being somewhat arbitrary, depending upon who's drawing them. 
then it just it's a, but yeah, I'm a bit tired now. So. I am a bit tired. <laughs> I don't want to open up another 10 hour conversation. No, it's, but really, it's, been, it's been really nice. What's yeah, your name? Tim. Tim. I'm uh, Yusuf. What was it, sorry? Yusuf. Yusuf. Pleasure, nice pleasure meeting you. Nice one. Shake this guy's hand and, as well. Uh, and um, now we're going to figure out who's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. No, oh. yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, yeah, that was, you know, yeah. Uh, thanks for taking yeah. the time. Thanks, thanks for having that conversation. Give, 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 yours? give me all. Yes, it's mine. Yeah, you can take. If you want to give me all, I will. So, are you? Okay. Are you here most most Sundays? Never. Uh, I, I, I'm from Manchester. How are you? Okay. How, how are you finding your day? Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, there's another one. <laughs> another one. Oh, they left the mic on you. No, the big camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they're here. Let me hear. Yeah, no, I'm from uh, Manchester. Um, <laughs> from my sister lives in Yeah. Um, 